All right, so we are heading to Southampton to find out why the South Central Ambulance Service are doing such a good job with their research vehicle initiative. Let's go. My name is Tom and I'm a filmmaker. And my name's Ian and I'm a clinical trialist. We want to find out what SCAS is doing with their research vehicles. SCAS have been innovating. They've been using ambulance cars to get more patients recruited and get them recruited quicker. And we wanted to find out how they were doing it. Let's go. The research cars are a new sort of pilot initiative um, where we've got experienced paramedics working on the cars and um, getting to patients um, who can be enrolled into research trials. Um, so trying to get to them as quickly as possible so that we can deliver um, care to them but also enrolling them into the research trials that we've got running in SCAS at the moment. The research car differs from an ambulance because um, we can actually get to a patient when they phone us, if that makes sense. So for crash fall, we're looking at head injuries and all those other things. So we can get to that patient when they first have that head injury. We've recruited dedicated paramedics who will staff a response car. Now the benefit that brings is it takes that specialist resource to the incident to ensure that improved patient outcome um, for future patients we may attend. The, the, the Research Car Initiative is a wonderful platform uh, for any critical, acute uh, research projects um, which are identified by the National Institute for Health Research. The uptake and drive to deliver research in pre-hospital care is so huge. To prove that we are giving the best care to our patients, we have to evidence that, and we evidence that through research. To be directly part of changing future paramedic practices is a really exciting part. Because I regularly meet with National Ambulance Service Medical Directors, one of the reasons that we do that is to share best practice and understanding. And I know that many of my colleagues in other ambulance services in England, and indeed in the devolved nations, have been very interested um, in, this, in this very novel approach to recruitment of patients um, in the challenging pre-hospital emergency care environment. What's exciting about Crash 4 and the, the Research Cars initiative um, is, is how it could potentially align with the ambition of the network to really integrate research into clinical care. We work really closely with our colleagues in Wessex to support uh, and develop research right across the Ambulance Trust. In terms of our involvement with the Research Car Initiative, uh, we co-fund uh, the paramedics on those cars but at the moment, because it's early days, those research cars are just operating in Hampshire. Uh, we're really keen, though, to develop this initiative uh, across our region, across the Thames Valley and South Midlands. We're hoping that this initiative is going to be able to greatly increase our, our recruitment for research studies um, and also improve patient care. This is research about research, really, about how to do it in the ambulance service, and it's really important that we share what we're doing and um, you know people can learn from that as they see fit really so you know we're very open and transparent about how that's working. So the benefits of this innovation are not only for patients in that we can extend our research offering to them more widely but also to our own staff so we can offer them significant research delivery experience that they might not normally have in their day-to-day -day activities. All of the staff that have worked on the project have got vast research experience now compared to what they had a few months ago which is wonderful. I hope that the research car scheme can be spread throughout the whole country so that more patients can benefit from um, high quality care and being enrolled into research trials in the future. In 20 years time the research cars initiative hopefully wouldn't be needed because it will be everywhere and, and that will just become common practice but there'll be something else that we'll have to overcome and there'll be another challenge that we have to try and face and, and as long as everyone understands and, and pulls together, there shouldn't be an issue. We should be able to face it and deal with it.